Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to learn about the digestive system. That is, how the food is digesting. Children, we all know that we need energy to do various works in our day-to-day -day life. And this energy comes from the food that we eat, right? But do you get energy immediately after eating food? The answer is no. Let's see why it is happening. Children, the food that we eat is not directly used by our body cells to provide energy. So, the food we eat need to be broken down into tiny simple pieces which can dissolve in water. This process of breaking down food inside the body is called digestion. Ok children, now look at this picture. This is the whole process that takes place when you eat food. Children, remember, the process of digestion starts at the mouth and ends at the anus. Next is digestive system. Many organs work together and helps in digestion. So, the set of organs that help in the process of digestion forms the digestive system. The main organs of digestive system of our body are mouth, foot pipe, stomach, liver, pancreas, small intestine and large intestine. Children, we begin digesting our food as soon as we put it in our mouth. First, we use our teeth to chew food and break it down into small pieces. The food is mixed with saliva and made into a paste before swallowing. Children, saliva is a special juice made by the salivary glands present in your mouth. Saliva softens the food and also starts the digestion of starches in the food. The tongue helps to mix the food with the saliva. Children, as you swallow the food, it goes down a tube called the food pipe and enters in your stomach. It stays there for up to 3 hours. During this time, the food is digested more. The stomach makes the digestive juices. The stomach muscles churn and mix the food with these juices. They break down proteins and other substances into simple soluble substances. From the stomach, the food passes into a pipe called the small intestine. Here, the food is mixed with more digestive juices and it breaks down even more. Children, some of the digestive juices are made by the small intestine and some are made by other organs such as the liver and the pancreas. The digested food passes into the blood through the walls of the small intestine. The blood takes the food to all the cells in the body which provides energy. Children, some portion of the food that you eat cannot be digested. It becomes waste. This passes into a wide pipe called the large intestine. Here, water is absorbed from the waste. The solid part is sent out of the body through the anus. So, this is the process takes place in digestive system. Now let's see how to eat food correctly for proper digestion. Children, to stay healthy, eat a balanced diet. Too many sweets or too much of fried food can cause indigestion. Children, chewing food well is important for good digestion. Food that has not been chewed well 
cannot be properly digested children if you talk while you eat the food get into your windpipe instead of your food pipe this can choke you so don't talk while eating your food children drink a lot of water which helps in good digestion and if you want to stay healthy children eat fiber rich food which helps food and waste to move through your digestive system so that your food get digested very easily and finally eat clean food with clean hands and rinse your mouth properly after eating so my dear children if you follow all these eating habits then your digestive system will be healthy